Um, guys, uh, for those of you who wanted to know what are the contents of a GM Dishes radio logbook, uh, here is a very short video on this. This is one of my probably my shortest videos ever. So quick video. Uh, if you are ever asked a question like this in the exam, you can just go about telling them that uh, there are three sections in a GMD search radio logbook. Most of the times, uh, section A describes the ship's particulars, uh, the name of the ship, port of registry, official number, um, and then it goes on to give details of uh, radio certification equipment which has been carried on the particular ship and then uh, methods of ensuring availability of radio equipment, including details of the servicing company. So the details of the equipment and the company that will be servicing the equipment and periodic intervals that is mentioned in part A of or section A of the GM Dishes radio logbook. Uh, many of these uh, have to be filled by you. So the GM Dishes logbook is a generalized logbook and uh, most of these entries have to be filled by the um, probably the officers who take over the ship for the first time and uh, most of the particulars remain the same but if there are any changes then subsequently the officers keep making changes to the equipment or the details then there is section b which uh, details the list of qualified personnel on ship now of course uh, if you're a deck officer mostly all deck officers are qualified gm this is, uh, is a compulsory certification that the deck officers have to obtain and uh, naturally as you sign on you put in your particulars there so your gm this certificate number and uh, your name and rank of course and when you sign off and the next officer comes in he will do the same he or she will do the same so you basically put in your details as an officer and uh, your certification details and uh, your rank as per your rank finally you have section uh, c uh, which uh, comprises of the following uh, section c comprises of uh, a summary of communications uh, that relate to uh, safety of life at sea convention or solas convention these uh, communications mainly relate to distress and safety related issues uh, or distress and safety related incidents it could be uh, f distress of your ship or if uh, another ship is in distress and what are the summary of communications then it also contains a record of any important incidents connected with radio service so uh, when we say important incidents of course uh, importance could be a very subjective term uh, but uh, the, the, the rule of thumb here is that anything that you consider importance and if you are ever in doubt, just put it in the GMD audio logbook. For example, if you receive a distress call and uh, you, that ship is too far for you to assist and normally it is mentioned in the master standing orders as is what is considered to be too far uh, or uh, you have provided a message to the radio uh, to the rescue coordination center that uh, you have received the distress message and the ship was too far for you to assist put that in the GMS radio logbook. Um, any other uh, information that pertains to the uh, safety of navigation or distress or any other uh, communication that you receive that you feel is important, even if you are in doubt, just put it in the records of important incidents. Uh, make sure you put the position of the ship at least once a day. So normally uh, there is an officer who is designated to do that. Is uh, normally at the same time that you put in the ship's position. Um, often, uh, and there are certain tests that are carried out and when the test entries are made like i said the did like i've mentioned here on the screen as well that uh, certain tests are carried out for example digital selective calling test or batteries being tested or printer papers being tested or checked for then uh, you make an entry of these checks and tests that you carried out on a daily basis and along with that you put the ship's position as well uh, so normally an officer is uh, designated to carry out uh, such tests and checks on a daily basis and to make entry um, so this is uh, where section C the entries will come in all right so it's pretty simple uh, section a B and C easy to remember as well and if you're ever asked a question like this in the oral examination you should be able to answer it all right guys bye for now and see you soon with my next video